could we in here? Okay, can I can I get my menu? You might be in here. Notifications and announcements. Thank you. Did it say pre-purchase add-on? Who cares? Well, cause, yeah, they had a new DLC come out and a new one coming out. Say hi, big guy. No. Do it. Fuck out of here. Like, just cut the video off now. The video's done. Two seconds. Cut it off. We're done. Loading screen. That's all you get. What, is this going to be like a how-to video? Yeah, how to quit. <laughs> how to play Dark Souls 3. Cut it off. It's it's, a, it's the game bad. is not that bad. The game's not bad. The game's, the game's decent. The game's good. Okay. You know, one day, I will know what I'm doing when I come back to this game. I really don't remember where we're at. <laughs> Today is not that day, though. You're still in Hogwarts somewhere. Yeah, like this. So, Come over here. And you kept running. <coughs> you kept running from that gator. Okay. Okay. Wouldn't that just scare the shit out of you? Was oh. if it was scaling the wall right there, the the wall of the. Man, that wouldn't be fair. It it would it would be the size of the wall though. It's as big as that gator is. That bitch ugly as hell. Wasn't the nice? It's like the size of a school bus. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Where are you going? What? I, we, I went down there already. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm fairly positive. Right. <sighs> you haven't played in a couple of weeks, so I'll just take your word for it. Man, I can come here. I'm gonna go here. But, uh, you wanted to, you wanted to talk about the Nintendo Switch, correct? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. With the Nintendo Switch coming out and everything. Now. Nintendo has built a real strong fan base. Ooh, the heck was in there? Nintendo has built a really strong fan base. Get out of here. Don't look. People think Nintendo could do no wrong. Everything about Nintendo is great. Yada, yada, yada. All, all, all that dick sucking. But <laughs> Nintendo sits on a gold mine of titles that they just don't use. They sit on titles that they don't even use. Right? Like the, when was the last time you played a good Star Fox game? Yeah. I'll wait. Uh, Nintendo 64. Yeah, and guess what? <laughs> was, they, the new, was the new one ass? The brand new one was just a re-release <clears throat> of the 64 version. Pretty much. Was it? it really wasn't any different. A hundred percent! But you could transform into a little mecha turkey. Oh, okay. Eighty <laughs> percent. Alright? Eighty percent. So why is it that they haven't tapped into this market of dog fights? Huh. It's not behind it anymore. You know, I mean, well, you know, you already beat him in that race once. You don't have to race him again. Uh oh, I know, don't know. Do you do you know the uh, the extent to how much they can make that multiplayer so much better if you could have like eight or twelve people playing at once and then that, have, and then and then have ads and stuff. Like if you have like a squadron of like uh, NPCs with you too, you know how good that would be. Like not even that. Like you're you're aware of the game Ace Combat. Oh yeah. Aren't you guys? Of course. Why the guy? Yikes! Okay, um, what's that free-to-play game that's, that's on Steam? That it's even on PlayStation Four and everything. It's a uh, there's tanks on the ground that you can play. Have War planes. Of tanks. Is that water tanks? Is it? Is it? I thought that was a phone app. No, it's an actual game <clears throat> you download. Well, whatever. I can't remember what it's called. Hello, but um, you know the whole like the, it's just dog fights in general, plane battles, actual. What the hell is that? You sound? hear that? Smeagol's angry. Actual, con actual aerial combat. Doesn't open that I, way. He's seen you. I don't know. They need to... They need to go back to basics and see what they did right. No, so, no, it's not go back to basics. They've been they've been stuck at basics. No. They I'm need... Just, I'm, just, I'm just saying they need to go back to basics, see what they did right, and improve upon that. You know, instead of just, instead of just doing copy paste, you know. Like, they really need to do something like, with that Star Fox title. And then what they also need to do is move, you know, just move their games into like the current generation. I mean, Metroid Prime—they had Metroid Prime Hunters. That was great. But why is it that they still haven't, you know, touched the genre of shooters yet? They just came out with Splatoon just now? I think you're losing your focus right now. He's <laughs> swaying non-stop! <laughs> Where's your stamina at, you lanky fuckwad? 
don't mean a thing if you ain't he's got get, this he's swing. getting his he's getting his status from dead daddy but how do you make a how do you <clears> take <throat> take the metroid title from metroid prime hunters on the fucking ds not the d not the 3ds not the 2ds this is before the dsi on the ds you make a decent functioning multiplayer a first person like a first person shooting multiplayer but you don't improve on that and put it on your console for a mainstay shooter I think there's a bonfire over there you could have seen Like, why would you not snag that market up? That's two untapped markets you hadn't gone into. There was um there's a YouTube channel I listened to. I like them. They're game they're gaming Illuminati. I like those guys. They're probably they're probably too busy trying to make a Pokemon MMO at this point, you know. No, they're not they they're not trying to make no damn Pokemon MMO and you know it. Don't get your hopes up. I'm just saying they're uh, they're, they're sitting on a gold mine if they ignore that. They have been for 20 years. But I was talking about like the you know they're this uh the YouTube channel game they were talking about making making a Pokemon MOBA. Do you know how interesting that would be? Oh, like a tower defense or something or yeah, that'd be pretty neat. <laughs> like having a Pokemon mobile, like you know, maybe actual tank Zara be a tank. That would be interesting. Having some weird way to actually spec your Pokemon, but because of their abilities, like even though they could function as a tank, they don't have the right abilities to function as a tank. Having a would that give them more characters than League of Legends? Then you know, if they want to, if the game's successful, like you know, it's still a matter of you know actually taking the game and balancing it and making it work. Making its own game, which is not an easy task by any means, but they still have that option. Like, why are you not taking these routes? Instead, we get games like what? Uh, what was that? Metroid Federation? Who wants that fake ass Rocket League? <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Dang. Wow! That did a lot of damage. I hate these little ugly ass goons. They're a <laughs> stronger, faster weapon. You're just mad because you don't have hair like they do. You're right. In real life. You're right. You're right. I wish my shit was like smoky and everything with like Hades. Alright. They die, yet their, their hair is still fabulous. I don't understand. I'm, I need to figure out where I need to go. That's what I need to figure out. But, uh, I don't know. They're just. They're sticking to like staple stuff like uh, Mario Kart and Mario Party and. That's all they but have, though. Staple stuff like the Switch is coming out, and for what reason do you have to buy the Switch? Seriously, why do you? Why does anyone want to buy the Switch? Because uh, GameCube games they may not have anymore, I guess. Like what? I don't know, there's Melee, there's Luigi's Mansion, there's some other stuff they're gonna release on there. D they didn't announce that. I could have swore I read that somewhere. No, nope. zero announcement. It's all speculation. The games they're releasing on the Switch. Oh boy. Like, we're getting Mario Kart Deluxe Edition. It's just more DLC. For Mario Kart 8? Yeah, it's just more DLC. Oh man. Like, for real? It's not worth okay. it. Like, we're not getting a brand new game by any sense. It's just an add-on. And if it's that full sixty dollars, it's not even worth that. Was they need Mario Kart sixty dollars when it first came out? I bought it with I I did the system thing, so Mario Kart, yeah, Mario Kart 8 was still was sixty bucks when it released. Well, uh, they do need to make a, new, uh, a good Star Fox. Is this a game. new place for you here? And they no, have the potential not. to make the multiplayer amazing. You know? For Mario Kart? No, for uh, Star Fox. They have it's. They have every component, every single component they have to make Star Fox multiplayer something. Hon honestly, all they have to do is make a new story, add maybe a couple new characters, as a campaign mode, add an amazing multiplayer, and there you go, man. But how many more times can Andros revive? Well, you don't have to have Andros. You could have a, di you could have a different enemy, you yeah. know? Or here's a thought. Here's a thought. They don't even need to make a brand new story. Just, like, so, what's wrong with taking the idea of Star Fox 
and making maybe a $30 or $20 multiplayer experience fully fleshed out. Oh, like, uh, like Battlefront? <laughs> That was yeah, sure. No, no, I'm like oh, Battlefront was a full sixty bucks. Ugh. I'm talking about actually, you know, taking it, polishing it, and take, turning it into something real, something nice, something that you can be proud of. Like Rocket League, that was a twenty dollar game. This feels like deja vu. It is. You don't even know where you're going. I don't. You're just like some lost little puppy. I am. Oh, you just want it to be a solely a multiplayer experience, then? Like, what's wrong with that? Nothing. I just figure you can make more out of it than just that, you know? <clears throat> How do I get over there? There's nothing from this side, so I'm missing something. Go that way? No, it's not this way. Could there just be some goons over here? Yeah, see, there's... Like, I can just run around for a little bit. Go away. There's, like, nothing here. There's nothing there. That butt stab? I wish you had fly moves like that. <gasps> you have to get up there to drop down to here. Well, you can go that way, you get to make a left, too. I remember there's nothing over here. Yeah, I think that's just the way to drop down. Yeah, there has to be a way for me to get over yonder? Is it that staircase? Um, the I don't know, maybe, maybe Nintendo that. just needs to come up with a new, uh, a new series too, you know, instead of, uh... A new IP? Well, the last new thing they made was Splatoon. Which, by, you know, and it's all right, Splatoon was fun. Splatoon's good. However, I, it's, you know, I don't think it has the popularity it does over, over here as it does overseas. It could be. I think uh, Nintendo doesn't market toward uh, other regions very well. Or I think that's the problem. I don't know if it's the problem of not marketing towards them, but probably not marketing properly. Yeah, Translation I th and uh, I don't think it's a problem of marketing at all. It's just they have these. They have everything they need. They have they have the creations, the characters. They have all that garbage. But what they don't have. Doesn't Nintendo hate uh, competitive games? Or just that one guy? Well, they had a little spiel in the past, but recently you know, they started embracing the whole idea of you know their games becoming competitive and making money off it and whatnot. I know we've been here before. Yeah. I'm just trying to see if I can just find a way down. Like, this will... Okay, I'm, I'm doing this the wrong way. Yeah, I'm totally doing this the wrong way. Yeah, you've, okay, uh, let me start over. Let me start over. <laughs> let me start over. <laughs> Wasting a bone. Right, I got a, I got a new conversation for you. Um, do you think uh, PC gaming is going to be replacing uh, console gaming, or do you think that eventuality isn't going to happen? I mean, so PCs are already consoles as it is. I'm just saying. I mean, you know, consoles are already PCs as it is. If anything, the only thing if the only thing that's keeping these consoles alive. Because we keep buying them, not 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 something so. It's just so, so easy as that. It's that they're solely dedicated to playing games mainly. They have. They have a better selling point just because uh, they're a lot cheaper than a personal computer. Where the fuck do I have to go? Yes and no. On that, it's exclusives. That's well, all it is. Exclusives. Well, I mean, you buy a system. It's like three, four hundred bucks to get a. To make a good gaming PC, it probably costs you five, six plus. You know. It also to, lasts to you. It also lasts you twice as long, though. Oh, well, you hope. If yeah, you know, if you know how to maintain it, it'll last you at least ten years. If you really know how to maintain it, fifteen to twenty. All right, let's put this like uh, there, there's a video I saw and somebody uh, they made a working gaming PC out of two hundred fifty dollars worth of parts. That's possible. So. But it's like, the only like people say with okay. Why did you buy a PlayStation Four? Well, I've I've had PlayStation since uh, PlayStation Two, and there's been so many good games I like playing. You know, just stick with it. Yeah. So, like, what good games? 
Oh, let's see. There's Tekken. I like Dynasty Warriors. Uh, just fighting games in general. Um, now, say you could get every last one of those games on your PC. Every last one of them. You can get that on your PC. Now, because of that, you're going to experience better online. You're going to experience higher quality graphics. You're going to experience the ability to mod it. Why on earth would you have a console? Trying to. All right, hold on. Give, give me a minute. Give me a minute or two. This is gonna be a video of just me wandering around aimlessly because I don't know where the fuck to go. <laughs> you really don't. And we like, don't have our. And we don't have Mr. Spoiler we don't have, with we us don't today. Have the, the, the walking spoiler. Okay, I have. I have an idea. Which has nothing to do with cars, by just so you're aware. I can go here. This will give me something to do. Well, the thing is, well, like you, like you said though, it, that it's a big. It's a big if, though, because not all the games are going to be for PC. And the thing but is, no, that's the you, problem. You'd have, you'd have to rebuy them. These games are made on PCs. There's no reason for these games not to be released on the PC platform. Other than money. Other than, you know, PlayStation, uh, you know, Sony, Sony Studios, and Microsoft coming to these places and saying, well, we'll pay you money to make sure this title goes nowhere else. We'll, we'll allow you to finish developing everything you just make sure your shit comes here and nowhere else. I just, I just feel, I just feel like PCs have a, like PCs have a reputation for being like hacked or uh, filled with viruses and stuff too. So it's like, I feel like console safer, in a sense too. Mm. I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean they can be hacked, but the thing is, there's more people with PCs than with consoles. If you think about it, so more people are gonna hack your. It's not even. It's not even PC. that though. A lot of people. Well, that might that might change here because the reason PCs are hacked more is you have data saved on it, and more and more people are saving their like payment informations on their consoles. Oh shit! Dang. We went uh, we went through this discussion in my college class x amount of years ago. All right, so let me get this when straight. when uh, uh, when uh, so one of the students in there was saying Jeez. Apple has the better P a Apple has the better computer. They will always be better because they've never been hacked. My teacher doesn't care for Microsoft or Apple either way, one or the other. So he said, okay, well, the reason Microsoft is hacked so much is because all to mo uh, most to all businesses use Microsoft. So if you're a hacker trying to hack a system and get money, I think he did some type of fishing metaphor. If you're fishing, are you going to go to the big pond that has all these fish, or are you going to go to this private pond that has two well, yeah, that's what, that's why I'm saying. Since you have you have more people on PCs than you do on consoles, you're more likely to get get hacked on your PC when you think about it. You know. Okay, with the consoles. Oh my gosh. You're gonna die. No, I'm not. Too strong for that. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> getting hacked. Like, okay, you're you're worried about your PC getting hacked. You know, all these games come on Steam, right? But well, that's the thing, though, because. Because you're not to, going to, to get hacked. On, on, I'm saying you're. To me, I've never had really a problem with a console breaking down, so to speak. I've had problems with computers breaking down. All right, and what did you do with that computer to have it break down? You downloaded music, didn't you? I don't even remember. It's you just, used something it, it, like it just got out of date. Like it, my, the last computer I threw away was Vista, man. You know they they update these things so regularly. It's like. You're you're behind in the times already. What? Ew. What is that? Hey, Beetle just wants to say hi. You don't even know how much. Okay, you might be doing. <laughs> God damn. Jesus. Jesus. Well, you ready for the real boss? Do I have there? to kill him? You know what? For this to open. Oh. No. No. Traverse. Traverse. <laughs> There's a boss. <laughs> that wasn't even the boss. No, this, this, this is a boss. Ooh. Yeah, I can, kinda, boss. I can kinda see that. Oh, let me go. Okay. Alright. Let's go let's check Man this cutscene. Which big pile's gonna get up. <laughs> 